It's episode 34 of our Journeyman Save today. Uh, we are going to wrap up the Premier League season in this one. Uh, Leicester under 23s have been relegated from Premier League 1 to Premier League 2 for the age group next year. So that's kind of disappointing. I'm stressed. Lots of silverware on the line. A win, and we can clinch the title. So let's go out there and do it before we have to play Man City in the season finale. Let's do it against Middlesbrough. I'm okay with that. Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 34, Football Manager 21. This is our journeyman save, and we're with our third club, Lester. We've been here for a little while, but we're thinking right now this is going to be it, the last season here. So I kind of wanted to show you, by the way, hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay up to date for daily Football Manager content here on the channel. Thank you so much for doing that. Uh, our U23s have been relegated from League One to League Two in the Premier Division next season, uh, getting 18 points from 24. Not a very good year. Uh, Aaron Fowler will be out for a couple of days. Eight players called up for international duty, which comes after the season. And Liverpool w suggested that they are looking at a deal worth $117 million for Noel Mark. I got news for Liverpool. 51 goals in 48 matches this year. Uh, you better be coming in north of $200 million if you even want me to answer the phone. <laughs> I think 258 million is the maximum or you know the maximum that you could put and that's what I put. Uh I I still said I would respond to anything myself, but yeah, don't waste my time with a 117 offer. Hell, he's valued at 74 and he's only 21 years old. So Liverpool, you can kiss my ass. Uh <laughs> All right, we are playing Middlesbrough today. A win and we can win the league. We're two points up on United with a game in hand. A win gives us a five-point advantage with one to play. All right, we're going to go with Solis in goal, a back four of McNeil, Gerber, Hildon, and Licka. Wheel and Ramos, uh, a new midfield pairing here. Wheel's been there. Ramos has also played, but our starters in, uh, you know how to play... Let me give some thought to that. I am. We're going to bring in Mateus and Ramos in the midfield partnership. Two really excellent passers, a 16 and what, a 19? Yeah. So I really want, you know, let's see what they can do together. Our two, uh, two wonder kids here, right? Uh, well, he's not a wonder kid anymore, but he was when we got him, 22 years old. Ramos is 20 years old, still listed as a wonder kid. Uh, Romain and Baffer on the wings. Uh, Cesar and Mark up top. Cesar with the hat trick last match. Uh, Graves on the bench. I did have a talking to uh, him. He's been playing around a 6'6", and I said, you got to do a better job. Just a better job. Melvin Gerber is going to take the captain's armband in this one. And we, you know, just, we have some, some guys just tired. All right, they're motivated from that. That's good. We are playing on the road today. They're in a 4-4-2. Let's encourage them here in the early going. Hill Don, and it, there is some rain going on, so Ramos, Mateus. Ram Romain lets it go up. It's deflected. Oh, and that one doesn't get a chance to go off. It's headed away. Two early shots. No joy yet. All right, come on. McNeil. Cesar. Mateus. He takes a shot near post, and that's his first goal of the season, and that could be the Premier League clinching goal for us. That will be, <laughs> that'll be something he'll be able to remember for the rest of his career. And I don't think the keeper had a shot. He was kind of wide open. He could go either direction. And if the keeper would have committed either way, 
I don't think it would have stopped Mateus from from doing anything there. Cleared out to McNeil into Baffer. It drops in, but cleared out. Oh, we were looking for a second goal there. Oh, wouldn't it be wouldn't it be astounding if we can win this, climb the podium today, and then against Man United, them have to give us the uh, honor guard. Oh, that would be awesome. Oh, we got a couple of opportunities there. Laid back to Ramos. They pull back a little bit. Oh, uh, he was looking to sneak it through onto that left wing. Middlesbrough with the set piece. Out into space. Lazare is out there. Lick is on the coverage. Oh, I want to check something. I've got everything how I wanted it. Just wanted to make sure. There is a shot. So, Lisa. I think if I was going to stay next year, Solis would be a position in goal that I would look to maybe upgrade. I mean, he's done a great job, but I think we could do better. All right, Mark plays it back to Licka. Licka loses it. He fights for it. Ramos. Baffer. Oh, they tried to thread the needle. Cancelotti. On the run, and he takes a soft shot. Solis does the electric glide out from the touchline. 11 shots to four. Let's demand more. Baffer to Ramos. Ramos plays it through. It's Mark, and Mark misses an opportunity. He could have done better, I agree. But we do have a corner here. Romaine, it's cleared out. Silvani is on the run. Mark's tracking back. McNeil, uh, you don't really want a striker marking somebody inside the penalty box like that. That's a little nerve-wracking. And we miss that opportunity. Final minutes of the first half. A lot of ball moving in the midfield. They finally get through. There's Bruno. He takes a crack and he beats Solis at the near post. Oh, we need to do better there. And I've got tight marking on. They just gave him all day long. Oh, 1-1 one, one at the break. We, we've dominated this match. 2.53 to 0.33 on the XG. Let's demand more. Cancelotti through the midfield. Ramos got a foot on it. Uh, looks like they were going to call a foul, but they call advantage. I saw the referee throw his arms up. The header goes over the goal. Gerver and Cancelotti on each other. Fatty or Fady. They pull it back. Licka makes the run, controls it. And he's got plenty of space. Romain lets him overlap. He takes it all the way down. Cesar gets it back to him. Back into Cesar. Mateus! And he's got his second of the game and has put us up 2-1. to one. And again, that could be the Premier League winning goal if we can make it stand up. Mateus really paying dividends today. And he's one of those guys we would really love. Okay. We would really love for him to be able to do more. But I just don't know. I'm going to pull Hilden off. Let's bring Fowler on. Just fresh legs on that back line. I know Hilden is tired. So we'll get, we'll get that out. 
um, more direct passing. That's out to Licka. Licka lays it into Ramos. Back to Licka. Mark with the header. I think that was off target, but Cook makes it look good. I don't want to sub too much here because we want to go for the win here. All right, Fowler controls it. All right, he gets it up into the mid for Cesar. Crosses it to Ramos. Big ball across to Romain. It's in near post and Noel Mark. Number 52 has opened up a two-goal lead. So we've opened up a two-goal advantage. That's huge, and it, it's fitting if we win this match that Noel Mark was involved with a goal. He has been the catalyst for us this year. What a great run right on the edge of Kanade and puts it in near post. Uh, you know what? Let's do that. We'll, we'll start going more direct passing. Earlier crosses. See if we can do anything with that. Uh, let's praise the team now. Knocked away by Gerver. Gerver's one of those guys that I'll be I'll be tempted to try to buy uh, if we go somewhere else. Just he's so young at this point. Even in our DeGroff shop save. Oh, it's back post. Oh, Baffer hits the woodwork. And then Romaine takes it out of play. That was unlucky. All right, let's do another sub here. Mateus, let's bring on Josh Wheel. And Baffer, let's bring on Carlos Vitor. Fresh legs all around. Ten minutes early. Ramos just uh, asked to come off. That goes off the woodwork. It's cleared away. Over the top, flicked back to the header. The header is flicked back to the keeper. You, you guys knew what I meant. Hey, take her into the kitchen, please, because I am recording. All right, Cancelotti on the counter. Uh, he gets a nice ball past McNeil. Nobody's on him, and he misses wide. Licka never closed down. I guess he was watching the back post, but nobody was back there. Oh, and what a shot by Roberto Panilla. His third goal in Solis looks frustrated. I don't know that he had a chance. That was a Romaine special there. Just put it right in the corner. The problem I have here is Solis actually slid over, was on both feet, and still missed the ball. He's got to do better. Let's demand more. All right, so Mateus now has lost the opportunity to be the hero. It's Mark going near post, but Mark can be the hero with the game-winning goal if we hold on. Ten minutes left. Ten minutes left. And we are still in the running for the trouble. Come on, boys. Ten minutes, five minutes, oh, five whole minutes of stoppage time. Jesus. And they get the highlight. It's Bruno. Into the mid. Oh, it's, it's a bad pass. Flick on header. Cesar does not run onto it. That was, that was what, oh, and Licka. Licka is going to be sent off here. A straight red card. Oh, that's brutal. Okay. I don't have any more subs. McNeil. All right, so we're going to go back to this tactic here. No. Go there, please. Thank you. All right, we're going to go winger on support. Winger on support. Deep line playmaker. And let's do that. We'll put him roaming. Ramos will be our deep line playmaker. Hopefully we can hold on here. There we go. And we have won the Premier League. What a victory. What a victory. Oh, here I come in the tracksuit. 
I give it over to the captain. And shoot it off, boys. There we go. Yes. Looks like Janny Alioski right there. Oh, very, very, very happy. We're going to get the Solis Somersault. A traditional goalkeeper cartwheel. There you go. Oh, what a victory. We've won the Premier League. Now it doesn't matter what happens against Man United. We still have the two cup finals coming up next episode. Oh, Licka with a 94th minute red card. Yeah, we'll, we'll motivate them a little bit. They probably expected me to lay into them a little bit. Being that, okay, so here's the question. So our code of conduct is two weeks for a straight red. Um, only one week for being sent off. But yeah, I think we find two weeks we don't appeal. We rekindle the heady days of 2016, the last time Lester won the Premier League title. It is now 2058. It has been 42 years, and we were 50 to 1 odds at the beginning of the season. The board is ecstatic. Noel Mark praises me. Noel Mark with the game winner and the league winner. Romain in this tactic, is just unstoppable with his passing. 16 key passes and an assist. Let's take a look at the stats here. So 52 goals for Noel Mark, 33 for Graves, 16 for Cesar, 12 for Baffert, 11 for Romain. And then on the assist side, 27 for Romain, 19 for Baffert, 17 for Mark. That's out of the striker position. 11 for Felipe and Jasufi and 10 for Cesar. We have not been a one-man team by any stretch of the imagination. And average ratings look really good. Licka just below a 7. Jasufi just below a 7. Gerber, I think, is on the cusp of getting into the side. Uh, Wheel plays very well for a 3-star. Menza, he has been such a huge member of this team. Where do you see... I thought there was something over here. How about we just... Okay, this one we're going to do... There we go. That's what I was looking for. Can I do career stats here? And last five games there. That's there we go. All right. That's what I want to see. All right. So 77 appearances and 26 goals for Lester. He has been really good for us. Uh Wheel. 196 games since coming over from Leeds. 12 goals. But he has been really, really good for us. 52 career assists. He is just, you know, both of those guys have been really quality for us. All right, let's do, uh, we play Man United in four days. We'll just come back because we've already won. So, in fact, let's end the episode here. Next episode, we'll come back. I will show you the results, but we've already climbed the podium. Uh, but we do have the FA Cup final against Burnley and the Euro Cup final against Standard Liège. Let's come back and try to win some more silverware in what is going to be now officially, I think, our final season at Leicester. I still have two years left on my deal, but I think I resign at the end of the season and go find another job. Another job where I can build... Uh, which is the Bielsa way. All right, well, guys, hit the like button, subscribe. If you're new, hit that little notification bell to stay up to date for daily football manager content. Silverware in hand. We've won the Premier League, and we'll see you guys to see if we can win some more silverware, possibly the treble, next episode.